Hey everybody, it's the Do Girls One Let's Play of Shapeshifting Detective. Brought to you by the people or of the Dark Cthul what I don't know what what was that called? Mermaid Mermaid Game. You're listening to Radio August. Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. It's five o'clock and I'm Alice Monroe with your August update. August police are appealing for information following the murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Ms. Shaw's body was discovered last night. Chief DuPont is calling the crime a violent and despicable act. Anyone with information about the murder is urged to get in touch via the department's confidential tip hotline. It's horrible, Poe. Indeed it is. Do you think that this intro is made with Blender? Or with real actual soap. I think it'd be cool if it was real soap. You need to learn when to keep your mouth shut. We already have great acting. <laughs> Fantastic. Excuse me, if the first thing you do is tell me to shut up, I already do not like you. Exactly. Rewind. What? Yep. Oh! Rupert Booth is in this, the contradiction guy. The guy who has big dick energy? Yep. No, different guy. The detective guy. <gasps> yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh, they're big dick energy guy? Yeah. You need to learn when to keep your mouth shut. Should I just throw him in the trash? Because when I ask throw him... Throw him in the trash. Say, who are you? But that we asked that last time, and he made us watch the intro again. Is there another option? Throw him in the trash? I don't know what the trash can does. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to be... You know why you're here, don't you? Oh, so we can choose to be silent. Oh. No. The dead girl. And this. He's wearing a fedora. Or Tribly. What exactly were you thinking? You have one job. What were you thinking? We chose Don't that hat. Get caught. Do you think you can do that God, this time? I love time? FMV so much. I know, it's just very. It's a rhetorical question. You're going to a town called August. Find Chief DuPont. He's gonna think you're someone else. This person. This is who you are now. Understood? I don't respect yes. you. No, I'm not gonna reply this time, because fuck this guy. Okay. Understood? I ain't saying shit! Splendid. If someone so much as sniffs that you're different, You'll be deprecated. Deprecated. Defenestrated? What does that even mean? It means we thrown out the window. We expect you to use your ability. Just don't get caught. And never, ever change into a child. Oh, so we're... In brighter news, August resident Mia French is celebrating the return of her missing pooch, Farley. The eight-month-old basset hound puppy was found outside Daryl's chicken and ribs. And that's five o'clock with Poe and Monroe. AJ's a chicken I'm and ribs. Oh, welcome to the guest house. <gasps> yes! There are some rules. In particular, no shoes in the guest house. It's sexy redhead. The carpet's priceless. Now, how long are you staying for? Are you a mermaid? <laughs> Just type it in. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Take me away. I'm not sure. That's fine. It's yours for as long as you want it. There's not been many visitors of late. Perhaps the murder will bring some tourists I love in. Her. It's just you and some tarot readers at the moment. It's deathly quiet. So remember in the beginning it looked like we were on the inside of a car wash? And sometimes they put hints. Working at the car wash. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Car wash, yeah. It's like car wash murders. <laughs> they were all murdered in the car wash, and that's the last thing they saw was the soap running the down soap? the side of the car. Okay. <laughs> Haven't you ever been Normally you burn the car to get rid of the evidence. No, but what if you have a nice car? You don't want to get rid of it. Okay. 
<laughs> How does the car wash help the inside of the car? Maybe should they murdered them on the outside, <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then. Yes, the murder. You haven't spoken to the chief yet, have you? Chief Dupont, he's the one who booked the room for you. You look lost. You should probably go and speak to the chief. Your room is just down the hall, last on the left. It has its own back door. Ooh. The chief said that's the way you'd like I it. I love her so much. The chief said we'd like the back She's door. Like, just Green. finishing. Uh, I'm just looking. Okay, she was, whatever. Let's engage with yeah. this weirdo. You don't believe? Actually, we can shapeshift. I, <laughs> what well, am I we're doing? We're fine. Actually, I believe it. because yep. if I can shapeshift, you can tell the future, but... What yeah. I have a question about is what this, was this? What's this hair thing? What's this hair look you're going for? That was a decision that was made. That sounded serious. You must have a serious job to do. Hi, I'm Bronwyn. Bronwyn, pleased to meet you. I'm Sam. Pleased to meet you, Sam. If you'd like a reading. Yes. Yes. So, what's your question, Sam? Why did you <laughs> Why did you choose this headband? Why oh, you know what? We shouldn't be talking too much shit because she could just be like her pre bedtime. Here's the time. thing. I trust her that she can read the future. You know why? Look weird. No, because she's got normal eyebrows. <gasps> yeah. You know that's how I base like ninety percent of my character judge. I never overplucked my eyebrows. I did. Oh. When I was a teenager. Yeah. I used to just keep pulling and pulling and pulling until it looked Crazy. <laughs> it was just two like lines across your two forehead. lines that were like way too far apart and oh. way too high. And it looks so bad until one day my mom was like, "You cannot touch your eyebrows anymore, at all." Uh, are you guilty? Oh, the page of cups. What the fuck is that? It suggests I'm innocent of whatever it is I'm being accused of. You could be lying. I'm going to be seeing a lot more of you, aren't I, Sam? Yes. Convenient that you're the card the dealer. Rain's in two, Lexi's in three. So which room are you in, Sam? Mysterious. But I know you're in room four, Sam. Don't do anything I wouldn't do in there. She is and trustworthy. An almost post-orgasmic lethargy fills me as I Excuse wait. Excuse me? What? What just happened? By the time the night bus arrives, the high has passed, leaving me drained and depressed. And as I think about the weeks ahead of me, the paranoid wait to see if they're going to catch me this time. I pay the driver and head for the back of the bus, sit by a window and watch London go by as through the grimy glass. Then there's another long walk through the rain. Is this the radio? Tiredness dragging on my legs and muscles taut with cramp. Safe home at last. A one-bedroom flat in the most anonymous block I could find. I relax in a warm bath and wonder whether they found the body yet. I have no idea. I don't know. I whatever. It sounds like an NPR short story. Oh God! You know how on NPR they'd be like, and that's when I learned that raising a chicken wasn't what I expected it to be, and how I got over the loss of my father. And you're like, wait, what? <laughs> NPR has the strangest stories. <laughs> that they're supposed to be like super relatable and you're like no I don't relate to this I don't find fiction to be very relatable no these they they're never fiction they're always like true stories about how someone found an armadillo and like drowns it every week every week yeah there was like they some bring it back to life there was this really okay trigger warning like animal abuse but not because they love the armadillo I don't know but I, like, downloaded this podcast or something years ago from NPR about, like, having pets, thinking it's like, and that's why I love my dog. But it was just really weird, dark story about how this guy had a pet armadillo that he would try to drown all the time and then feel bad, and then he loved this armadillo so much even though he hated it. Um. And I was like, and it wasn't fiction. It's just NPR being fucking weird. Beast would release him and grant him peace in his final years. Surely it owed him that. In his heart, he doubted it was over. You just went back. In 60 years, the Slayer had never been merciful. Back in the deep shadow. Where Good, you, you got my message. Way? Chief Inspector DuPont. Yes. I wasn't sure you'd come. Rupert! But I suppose you're between jobs? Is that a reference to Tintin? 
What? DuPont is one of the Tintin characters. You can look him up if you want. Oh yeah. And um, he's a he's a he's also a detective. And Tintin's like, I'm gonna do the thing. And he's like, you can't, you can't do the thing. He's like, I'm gonna do it. I'm Sam. Well, we both know that's not true. But I like it. Sam, that's your cover now. So, the job. Dorota Shaw. Whoa. 21, accomplice cellist, redhead. Strangled. I know who did it, but I need proof. It's the tarot readers. Because they predicted it. The older one, uh, Bronwyn, she came into my office last night talking all crazy and saying Dorota was in trouble. I did my best not to lock her up. <laughs> it all sounded crazy to me. Tarot, the spirit world, cards that move, trans-dimensional thingamajigs. To be honest, I thought she'd probably been smoking something. And that's why I didn't take it seriously. Oh, okay. Good. So, uh, in the English version, they're actually Thompson and Thompson. Oh. In the French version, they're DuPont and DuPont. Ah, wait, they were twins, right? Yeah, they're twins uh, detectives. Ah, I remember now. And Tintin. The reason I knew that is because in Outlast, you remember those crazy twins who mm -hmm. were naked and wanted to eat your spleen? Yeah. They're named after those two. DuPont and DuPont? Yeah, the, the, the Outlast twins are named after them. Isn't that AJ? AJ, you a little baby? Because things, I don't have enough on her. That's where you come in. The free guest house day isn't free. I need you to work the case and report back to me. Find out things from the inside. Can you do it? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll be telling everyone that you've been hired by the Shores because obviously local law enforcement is either too incompetent or too overworked to solve anything. That gives you license to talk to people, but only notionally. Don't actually touch people or annoy them. You don't have any real authority, understand? But you help me out, and I'll help you. He's kind of sexy like You remember this. him from Contradiction, right? Yeah, I think he's yeah. sexier now, though. With the I suspenders. mean, he's got, he's got bracers. He's got the bracers on and, like... Piercing blue eye looking at me like that shiny head. Yeah, I'm actually kind of in, like into it. Into He's the... got that Patrick Stewart look. Mm hmm. I'm like young Patrick Stewart. Yeah, I'm like, dude, I'm like feeling this. Patrick Stewart, who's been bald since age five, and nobody <laughs> can tell me any different. <laughs> I saw him in a really old film with a full head of gray hair. And you're like, what? And he I was, was like, like, he was like 20. He was a like, head of gray hair. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my badge and gun? You don't get that. There's no badge and gun, just a hope and a promise. Come and find me when you're settled. This is Second Chance Sunday for you, Sam. Don't blow it. Did you see the murder victim, by the way? You might have. I saw that I you did. were looking away. She had very sharp, um, smoky eye. A very sharp one. Like she put a piece of paper up. You know when you put a piece of paper. You take. Up? You use a little a piece of scotch tape. <gasps> Ah, That's how you do it. Be, oh. You stick you stick a piece of scotch tape there, and that way you can get like a really sharp line on the ah. end. What do you want to know? She was a cellist, selected for a scholarship at Juilliard. It was in the local paper. I'm more of a Bon Jovi fan myself. He just said all the words people say when they're like, I need to tell you she's good at music, so we're going to say the words Juilliard. Juilliard. And we're like, I know that's a word. That has to do with music, so therefore she's good. Mm -hmm. Don't read the paper, do you? Yesterday, Monday the 9th at approximately 9pm, according to the coroner, we got a call from the mother just after 10pm. In her bedroom. She was naked. Strangled. I want to look that good when I get no killed. No signs of sexual activity of any kind. It was a weird scene to look at. There was one thing, but it's strictly between you and me. Dorota had a gold coin in her mouth. I'm being serious now, Sam. Not a word of this. It's the one thing only the killer would know. Did so you, can... hold on, did you, so you said, I want to look that beautiful when I die. Did you know that that's actually one of the reasons that women typically choose less, quote unquote, destructive methods of suicide? So... It's because women are societally pressured to leave a beautiful corpse. So oh. women will often choose methods such as pill, sorry, this is like, if so, sorry, if this we're already talking anybody, about it. Yeah. But um, it but like pills or cutting or as opposed to like shooting themselves in the face with a gun. Mm, that could be one of the many reasons. No, that that is well. I mean, there's I other. Was there's to, other reasons. I was trying but, to say 
this could be this is a reason and also other reasons and i also didn't want any male viewers to feel discounted about the higher male suicide rate mm, i i know that you weren't trying to i was just trying to keep that in mind because i know that's on a lot of people's minds right now yeah that, that the attempts are at the same rate but men are, are at a higher risk of executing it and I didn't want to invalidate that. Yeah, I suppose I was more trying to, not really trying to point to the rates, more just talking about how there's, like, societal pressure on women to look beautiful when they die. Yeah. Which is really sad. That's true. Can, uh, it's nice that the killer gave her a little token to take give to the death fairy man. I assume that's what the gold they coin is They usually put the for. coins on your eyes, but... They put it in your mouth sometimes. Oh. It depends on the culture. What can you tell me about Violet? Uh. Born here, runs the local guest house. Lovely lady. Where are you going with this, Sam? What she told you? I remember learning in school that they put it in your mouth for grease because that was more secure. Hmm. Because, you know, you put it on your eyes. Whoa, whoa, I dropped it. Fuck. You know, mm -hmm. it's in your mouth. Oh, here you go, fairy man. Mm -hmm. You know. She told you she's taking pills, didn't she? No, nobody Let told me. Let me handle Violet. She didn't kill anyone. Not much. Perhaps you should do some investigating? Maybe you should so do So you should probably read those out when you click them, only because uh, if people are watching on a mobile phone, they might not be able to read that. Okay. Do you have an alibi for last night? Do, do I have an alibi for last night? Do I? Okay. So no, you don't. I was here, and there are video monitors that will prove it. Mm. Thanks for ruling me out, genius. <laughs> Yeah, I already don't believe you. Strolled blithely down the pavement, tracking the pensioner. The old man reached the entrance to an alleyway that led down past the churchyard. Halfway down the alley was a patch of deep Ooh, shadow. We can visit all sorts of people now. I assume you've been to see Chief Dupont already. That's that background thing sounds exactly like a weird NPR story. <laughs> and then I drowned my armadillo over and over, and I was like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> Chief DuPont said you were taking pills. What for? He was just telling us all about your private stuff. Yeah. I take clozapine. I think they're for anxiety. Me too. I'm a very anxious person. Uh, it's very close, but it's not the same thing. Oh, sorry. I thought clozapine was like clonazepam, but no. Clozapine's for schizophrenia, isn't it? I just looked it up on Google, so therefore I'm an expert. Mm hmm I don't know, Dr. Sam. You tell me. She, yeah, that's how I would react to Mind your own business, you fuck Mm-hmm. Did you know Dorota? Not really. I'm sure she was a precious lamb, though. So you did. It's interesting that she called her a lamb, because sometimes people refer to lambs as, like, sacrificial or bringing lambs to slaughter. Well, because they're innocent. Mm-hmm. Dorota was a precious lamb? Yes, a lamb. Young. Innocent. Lambs get slaughtered, though, don't they? So Dorota was nice? Nice, yes. That's a good description. Actually, I thought she was a bit slutty, to be honest. I thought she said you didn't know her. <laughs> Dorota was <laughs> slutty? I didn't know her. She was really nice, and I watched her every day, that fucking whore. And you're like, wait, hold on. Yeah. Did you know her? <laughs> Slota was Dorota was slutty? Sorry. I'm gossiping. I don't want to talk ill of the dead. Ask her boyfriend. Yeah, you wanted her boyfriend, didn't you? <laughs> Where do I find her boyfriend? She's dating my ex. Oscar lives at the vicarage next to the church. Don't tell him I sent you, though. I'm sure he's sick of seeing people already. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell him I sent you, because I, he has a restraining order on me. I know. <laughs> Where are the other guests? There. Tarot readers. I'm thinking of asking them to leave, actually. Don't ask them to leave. Demands already. I'm only thinking of doing it. She seemed kind of like, she was like, if demands, you're going to tell me what to do? I'm the Dom here. Mm -hmm. What are you doing last night? What were you doing last night? It's the strangest thing. I honestly don't remember. Which I imagine I was here or getting groceries somewhere. Have you ever been to Dor Dorota's house? 
No, and I didn't murder her, if that's what you're asking. They head towards the dark end of the street. <laughs> oh, strange. <laughs> so strange. Uh, Sam, is it? I'm sensing you're not here for a reading. I, I'm sensing. I love yeah, it. I, here Every, she just has to... I like it when whenever people, like... Are they terrible. have to answer a question. And they're like, "I'm, s I sense that you're here to ask me some questions." And it's like, y yeah. "Yeah, yeah, I, yep, yeah." It's pretty fucking obvious. Does everyone in this? Yeah, everyone here has really long hair extensions. I don't know why. I have some questions about the murder. Chief Dupont thinks I did it. I'm hoping you'll convince him otherwise. Why should I convince him? All I'm asking is that you dig a little deeper than the chief. I had nothing to do with Dorota's death. Except you predicted her murder! We saw danger in the cards and we tried to stop it. Trust me, Sam, we're on the same team. How did you predict the murder? We saw it in the cards, not images, feelings, impressions. Your gross cards. Tarot can be very powerful. Look how much not bad you look when your hair's not like that. <laughs> Can you ask, can't you ask who the killer is? Not these cards. They only tell us what they want us to know. Okay, so why are the cards not holding out on us? Cards are being held in contempt of court. Where were you at 9 p.m. last night? Her character must be about her hair. In my room, reading. I found a trashy romance novel under the bed. I'm assuming it's violets. It's all swooning heroines and brooding vampire Casanovas. Thank God Lexi saved me. If you would like to read a romance novel about vampires, check out the Immortals After Dark series. Audibletrial.com slash geek remix. Check it out. They have really good narrators. If I found a romance novel, quote unquote, underneath the bed, I would not believe that it was sanitary. That's true. <laughs> it would be like... There's juices on this. Yeah, they got for sure. Got vampires, got werewolves, Valkyrie. They're did, great. Did you leave your room at all last night? No, not at all. Lexi popped in and we chatted for a bit, but that's all. Everyone in this game is wearing really long hair extensions. You think, think Violet is trashy? I said the book was trashy. Look at this place. If her guest house is anything to go by, Violet's the opposite of trashy out of circulation for a week or two. <laughs> Every time I hear this. Hold on. I find myself wondering how many others there are out there. How many beasts? Or am I just one amongst many vehicles for a single I'm slayer? worried that this is going to be there important. There surely must be others. I cannot believe I am unique amongst all mankind. And if I am, then why me? <laughs> I've tried to be discriminating in my victims. No true innocents have been fed to the beast, though that first time was pretty close. What? But everyone since has put themselves in my path. It, it's a way to live with the monstrosity of it. It's barbaric, but at least I tell myself the Slayer only takes those that the world is better off with. <laughs> the, that was, did you hear I what that was? It was talking about like feeding the innocent people to the beast, but it doesn't count because they, the they came into your path. <laughs> yeah. And the beast only <laughs> takes those that are not innocent. I like... stagger into the killing ground. For a moment, I, I think the footsteps are going to pass, but he, and it is always he, is just being careful before he doubles back. I take my time, leaning forward, hands on hips. The slayer quivers with anticipation within me. What? Hey, mate, you got a light? The voice is higher pitched than I expected. Nerves making him speak. That's enough NPR. Okay. No, that's... no sorry. Sorry, I don't smoke. You must be a new guest. Oh, God! Or you're burglaring us. Those bangs. I'm Rain, by the way. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm... he looks like that, like an awkward teenager who didn't wash their hair as much as they should. Mm. I'm Sam. Pleased to meet you, Sam. Enjoy your stay. Uh, the hot water goes off at nine, by the way. So it's cold showers from there on in. That sounds like a nightmare. It really bugs me. I agree. Oh, it God. almost looks like that's just like a hair piece, like somebody stuck invested on the front. 
I think a lot of a lot of money was invested in hair products for this because <laughs> every single person has some sort of wig on. How what what do you know about Dorota? I didn't know her. I know she was called Dorota Shaw. She was young, had red hair. He is wearing a toupee. A talented musician. Yeah. But why? I think because I know Mermaid Lady, her hair's not that long. Yeah. And the other girl, you can see, you can distinctly see where her hair ends and those extensions go beyond. Maybe. maybe. Oh my god. Maybe. Maybe Dorota was strangled by hair extensions. She was strangled by someone's hair. Yeah. Or maybe they, it's part of the setting. You know, the women have long, luscious hair or something. I don't know. Who's the next victim? Next victim? Whoa. <laughs> Hold on a sec. We don't even know if there's going to be a next victim or not. So... We'll do another group reading soon, and then we'll have a better idea. You're weird. How did you predict the murder? We did a reading. A group reading, actually. With a special tarot deck. What's a group reading? The three of us get together and read the same cards. Bronwyn says it makes the whole thing stronger or more powerful or something. But I'm pretty sure I'd get the same answers just on my own. Tell me about the special tarot deck. Mercury? It's not exactly from here. Uh, with a normal tarot deck, you'd have the question, so you'd be the querent. With Mercury, it gives you the question and the answer. The cards themselves. Uh oh. Hello? Oh! Well, uh, can I see it? I don't have it at the moment. Bronwyn has it. What were you doing last night? I was in my room. Praying, actually. I don't believe in God, but I was still praying. It didn't work. Should have prayed the same. Praying, praying for what? What didn't work? My prayer. That the girl would be safe. Okay, bye. Okay, I'm back. Three, uh -huh. two, one. Okay, are you done? Are you done? Are you For done now? burping? Are you sure? How many burps do you have in your How body? many burps does it take till you get to the center of the bleh?